some 3v1 stacking on the mm. lanes. I think NIP... Zero in that top lane to keep those minions shoved in there. Yankos came up to try and protect it off there. Good cocoon, actually. A lot of damage coming back out towards him. A tower hit also. That's going to surely mean Yankos will push for him. He's got no mana. Will he repel towards him? Some KMT are coming around. They may try and go for it. They do land the hook, but that's going to be a foolish errand to posh in towards it. And Freeze was the target. Vanda, that dragon fight, that will be the first turret of the game, and it's KMT once again. Anyone play Draven in competitive, I'm not going to say he's back. Well, we see, of course, it is a very dangerous problem diving on towards the Jax, but unfortunately for, Zor uh, for Zaza, Zora Zero hadn't swung anything at him. He is going to try and get away. The hook lands on from Vanda. Four members come around, and now Herkibot's running for his life. There's first blood. It's Zaza that gets it, and now Herkibot's in trouble. Cocoon lands in there. The hook will be back up in a moment. The flay comes in. Herkibot's going to go down. It's KMT with all of the pressure on ninjas in pajamas. And it Herkibot's well got to go. coming in. Curse of the Sad Mommy is available. Flash is in, does catch all four, four members of it. Is it going to be enough to turn it around? Ninjas and Pajamas putting the damage down. That is Salavar down now. Yankos tries to flash away. He's going to be freeze follows through. Repels in towards the golems. He will escape, but down the bottom you can see Overpower and Vanda running for their lives. Nuke Duck is chasing. Herkibot's coming in. Mithy has got flash stun available. Catches on towards Overpower. Overpower will get dropped. Ninjas and Pajamas turning this massively in their favor right now. Yankos and Vanda. Bandage toss on towards Vanda. That's a third kill. And that is exactly what Ninjas and Pajamas needed. Happy to play this waiting game. Zoro Zero has got to be careful he doesn't get drawn into this one because the rest of KMT are drawing in, but they're trying to bait it themselves. That's going to be the culling being used, but look off the side. Van is in there, throws out the hook. We see Salavar having to use his cleanse because he got caught out by Herkibot. Desperately running away from this one. Curse the sad mommy catches no one, but that's going to be a good tip as flash through, and Ninjas in Pajamas will pick up one, will pick up two. Can they get the third? It's going to be Yankov. Yes, he will. He gets caught. He's repelling. Going to try and run the opposite direction, but you got nowhere to run, son, and he is going to drive. He's actually got Overpower trying to come down. we got to pay attention to that Baron, though, because they're going in. They've gone in. They managed to get one down. It was only the AD carry, but as you can see straight away, that's Overpower being dropped. They are going to try and close out the Baron. Just coming around the side, Salavar. The Baron is not that low right now. Salavar's doing a good job at keeping him at bay. Manages to take the lands and dash away, and they have prevented the Baron. Can they prevent any more deaths? Zoro Zero taking a lot of damage up towards Salavar. He will drop. Zazas now is joining the front. The hook gets thrown out. Not going to land. They quickly turn it back around. Yankos is going to be caught well out of position. Repels straight away, but it's Zaza's now in trouble. He's going to run away. He is a very tanky box man, but you can see immediately Salavar throws out the damage again on towards Zoro Zero. Zoro Zero, not the person they should be focusing on. The Inter Pajamas is still in a good situation here. Curse the Sad Mommy yet to be used. Oh, Herkibot tried to land it there. The invulnerability being used for Zaza's as well. Freeze does take down Yankos around the side. Now it's a four on five advantage for Ninjas in Pajamas. So this goal is going to go to them once again. Yeah, other than the I think it was the first two dragons NIP managed to pick up. They've not even been close to it. They have to go for it. Herkibot's going to look to go in. Doesn't manage to get it. The talisman was used. Instead, they're going to go for the Baron. They get the Baron. NIP, can they make anything with it? There's going to be the curse of the Sad Mommy. Catches one, two members. Zazas has to run away. Overpower puts his ultimate down onto him. No kills yet, but it's KMT running for their lives. That's a good piltover. It catches across five members of NIP. The hook on towards Herkibot. What are you doing, oh, no. That's not Hook the back. target you want. Flashes out of it straight away from that bandage toss. Still no. He's trying to re-engage a team with Baron, always dangerous. Talisman used, they turn it back around. They was just a bait. Yankos is now going to get caught out, stunned in there. That's going to be overpowered now they get caught on. Herkibot's a little deep. That's going to be a good counter strike coming out from Zazas, but this is a Baron Dump Ninjas in pajamas. Yankos does take down Mithy off of the side there. Nuke Duck is in a duel as well, but that's going to be Freeze taking down Zazas. And Nuke Duck running for his life. They oh, well, they're a big reason. They're not killing stuff in fights because they haven't built damage. Overpower coming from behind. He's found Nuke Duck. He's actually putting a lot of damage down while the curse of the sad mommy is used out. Nuke Duck's almost dead as well, but they turn it back on towards Overpower. Overpower puts the damage back on towards Nuke Duck. Meanwhile, the rest of the team are cleaning up. Salavar gets one. Zoro Zero is taking down Overpower, though. Nuke Duck's going to be the focus target. Mithy drops so, so low, but it is going to be Ninjas and Pajamas cleaning up. Can they get one more kills? They have three for two. It's going to be another turret going down. This is the first time Ninjas and Pajamas have had a turret advantage in this game. And are they going to continue to try and push this one because there's definitely going to be a Caitlyn coming at them pretty quick. At this point, NIP is fairly low, but the fights continue. <clears throat> the fights continue in. Salavar's being caught out. Zoro Zero can get the stun down on this it. The play comes out. Salavar has been dropped out now. Game Mithy's 
Tibbers has been the ones that are on point. It's Herkibot who hasn't been able to land the alts. Oh, they've hooked him in. He's taken him so low. He's got to use Curse of the Sad Mom because he's already down. Tibbers was also used there, I feel, and that's going to be and pulling him away. Meanwhile, the rest of Ninjas in Pajamas, they're just off the bottom here, but you can see it's Zazas and uh, they got to give it a up. lot of damage. They've got to give up the Baron. The Baron will go across, and it's KMT now with the advantage. Overpower to save this inhibitor, but that puts their third inhibitor at just as much risk. They're going to go for it, you can see, but he's going to turn it around. Nukok's just getting melted down, dropped straight away. Zoro Zero's going to run for it. A 2v1 from Overpower will be enough to take down Zoro Zero. He's got the regen. Is it going to be enough? Wow. Yes, it is. And in the top lane, they close it out. KMT going huge when it counts. And just like that, Ninjas in pajamas are now 0-2 down to KMT.